Hey guys, hope you're having a wonderful day. What are we making today? Fancy bugs. Fancy bugs. We're so excited to be creating again with you. We feel like it's been so long, even though it's been only a week. We are going to be creating, what are you gonna make? A butterfly. Yep, I'm gonna make a dragonfly, and what are you gonna make? A ladybug. A ladybug. So you'll get to see three different bugs that we're going to create. We're just gonna create the basic shape, then add in details with our oil pastels. And you'll need a tool to scratch out the oil pastel. So you could use a toothpick, you could use your nail if you really wanted to, maybe carving tools, pencils, anything with a bit of a sharper tip on it. And we will carve some really cool designs into those bugs. All right, guys, let's get to it. All right, if you want to draw a ladybug, I recommend taking up as much of the paper as possible. So you'll want to start with a circle, and then you'll draw a half circle for the head. And how many legs does a ladybug have? Six. Six, that's right. So you'll draw three legs on each side and dots. There is also what down the middle? There's a line down the middle where the wings separate, right? Yeah. Okay, and if you want to draw a butterfly, you might want to turn your paper the other way unless you want to make it a little bit smaller. And you're going to draw the head, which is a circle at the top, and then the body, which is like a long sort of oval that tapers at the ends and draw those fancy wings. You can do wings in all sorts of different styles. Some people like to do four wings, two on each side. You can do two really big wings. You can have them unique shapes. Just try to take up as much of the paper as possible. All right, so for dragonfly, we're gonna draw the head up here. Dragonflies are pretty unique and they have these really big eyes on the side. So I'm gonna draw these big eyes. <clears throat> and then, as we've talked about before, Insects have three body parts, right? The head, the abdomen, and the thorax. So we're gonna draw those three parts. And the end usually tapers. And then we're gonna have these big wings that go out to the side. And for a dragonfly, you can go the other direction with your paper as well if you'd like. And what do we love about using pencils first? You can erase that. Yeah, so if you make any mistakes, you can erase. Don't forget antennas and eyes for your bugs. And then grab those oil pastels so we can start coloring it. All right, so we went back over our pencil drawings and just drew the lines back in very lightly with white oil pastels. And now we're going to add in the colors that we want to make our bugs. So if it helps when you need to draw your bug, you can absolutely use the internet or a science book as your friend and search for the type of bug that you wanna draw so you can get a more realistic looking body type. And now we're gonna pick out what colors we wanna use. I think I'm gonna go with cool colors like grays, blues, some greens. I might add in a little bit of pink and purple, I don't know yet. Maybe some yellow, I don't know. Maybe every color of the rainbow, I just can't decide. So, I'm gonna let's... I'm going red and brown, because rainbows are usually that color. All right, sounds good. Yeah, you can be realistic with whatever color they actually are, or you can 
pick different colors, like favorite colors. Now what I like to do is I take black and I go back around the edges and it's going to create sort of a shadow once I start filling in the colors. After I've outlined in black, then I go back with the darkest color on the outside. So this is what creates a three-dimensional looking insect. And then I'm gonna work my way through the colors going to the lighter ones. is they're so buttery and they like just like blend together right they're super fun to work with if you go back area over areas that you've colored in already they just blend together to my wings. I think maybe I'll do yellows and greens for my wings. So we'll start with a darker green on the outside to give it that three-dimensional look and blend it with the black that's on the edge. For your butterfly, as you're filling it in, you can go back around with a darker color on the outside if you want it to look sort of like a shadow. So you could use black or a darker pink or dark red. And then we'll go back in and fill in a pretty pattern. When we do one color on paper, you'll notice how it's kind of rough looking. But then when you take another color or you press harder or put more of the pastels onto the paper, they blend together. You could even consider doing the opposite effect where there's a lighter color around the outside to make it look like light is shining around it. Sort of like a halo angel effect. Do you wanna know what else you can do? You can take black. and go over it. Look at that cool pattern it just created.
Once we have our bug colored in, we're gonna take a tool. You can use all sorts of different things like a toothpick or clay tools, pencils, fingernails, and start scratching in a pattern on your bug. This is where they get fancy. So you can create patterns that look like how they would normally look in real life. You can create really fancy doodles on them if you'd like. Just feel free to get creative. Well guys, I hope that was really fun for you and also a challenge. Let's show them how ours turned out. Very cool butterfly. Got some hearts, stars, and some swirls. How about yours? Ooh, I like the ladybug. Let me hold that up for you. Very fun. This is my six-year-old. And then here's mine decided to scratch away some details in the wings, did some swirls on the body, and then put sort of like a graph-like texture on the eyes. So we had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. And be sure to join us for tomorrow's lesson. We're making melted crayon rocks. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye.